Let's go to Joe. Joe in uh, New York. Hey, uh, with the sports betting apps legal in New York now, who do you like in the NFL playoffs this year? All of New York will be broke now. It's like you go to OTB, it's strewn with losers <laughs> and, and broken tickets and dreams. Uh, I know for a fact John Hine is already homeless, and that's only three days in. <laughs> But uh, a lot of my guys are into the sports He's betting. He's going to have a field day. Now, don't take my advice if you're betting money, because what I know about sports can fit into a thimble. I like J.D.'s Bengals. I got to say. They, they had a good season. Right, J.D.? You got to be pumped up. He's a big Bengals guy, even though he's now lived in New York. I don't know what he's <laughs> doing with Cincinnati, but okay. He's been loyal to them, and even when they yes. sucked, he was uh, loyal. Yes. Uh, are you excited about the Bengals? I'm very excited. I will cry. I will cry for sure if they win. They haven't won a playoff game since, you know, in 30 years. So, so any uh, game, they, if they win any of the playoff games, you'll be crying. JD is the worst winner. He's tweeting all over the place. He's tweeting like, all re- over the place? Letting everyone he know tweeted the following. When the, when the Bengals won last week, JD tweeted, holy shit, kings of the north. Hashtag go Bengals. right. <laughs> Uh, tears JD they won a regular season game. I mean, <laughs> they won the, uh, yeah, okay. You're, you're fucking Steelers backed into the fucking playoffs. We'll see how far they make it in. <laughs> Steelers well, deserve to be in the playoffs, my friend. First oh, of all, bullshit. shame on the two of you. New York has been good to both of you. And, and, and John is a Steelers fan. JD, you're off your rocker with bang, the Bengals. JD has gone as far as to say he is willing to eat horse shit like that Eagles fan did if the Bengals win the Super Bowl. Now, that's what? crazy. Really? I, I said, no. Well, listen, I might have been a little uh, uh, carried away with myself after when I texted that, texted that to friends. You know, when a, when a town like New York has been so good to me, this idea that JD is a Bengals fan and, and John is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan is so fucking repulsive to me. You two guys are crazy. And, now I heard the ultimate craziness. Ronnie is becoming a Las Vegas Raiders fan um, now that he <laughs> well, lives in Las Vegas. For two yeah, he's weeks. supposed to be a fan of the town that you live in. Ah, uh, come on. This was a guy who was in New York. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know fucking whole I life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, actually, the Raiders are facing the Bengals this week uh, yeah. in the first playoff game. So, fuck the Raiders. Sorry, Ron. You're a, you're now a Mr. Las Vegas. Uh, you're, you're the Raiders uh, fan, Ronnie. Uh, I don't know. There's something about this team here. Oh, boy. They, they, they're, they're just, like, <laughs> always down, and there's all kinds of shit going on with their players and crap. It's like they come back from nothing, and all of a sudden they win. So it's like a really cool story, and uh, I'm watching the games. What would be the ultimate matchup for television? I still think it would be Brady going up against Belichick. Am I correct I so. in this thought? I think that's the that's a story that's that people will off, write about right? all the, all day yeah. long. I think you're incorrect, just, just for the record. What's going to get a bigger audience than that? Well, well, bigger audience. I mean, do you want bigger audience or do you want a great game? Every, everyone knows Tom Brady, for Christ's sake. They want and Brady, I'll tell you what, me. I want to see Brady up against Belichick. I love that. Well, you know, Howard, it, it, it's the story of my life. You know, when I would get fired from a radio station, I'd say, fuck you, man. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. And I'd go on the other radio station. Do you see what I mean? It's a good well, story. Well, you know, what's interesting is that it was always like, who needs who? Does Belichick need Brady or does Brady need Belichick? You know what, Howard, if Belichick gets back to the Super Bowl, that's a huge story because everybody said when Brady left, it was over. It was done. And he managed to get this team relevant again very quickly. Howard, an appetizer for you would be Green Bay. They're the number one seed. That's Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback. So Brady's going to have to beat Aaron Rodgers if the seeds hold in order to get to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Come on. (laughs) Don't we hate you? And don't we hate Aaron Rodgers? I forget Aaron why. Aaron Rodgers was the one who lied about his vaccine status. That mo- oh, Thank you, Robin. That motherfucker. <laughs> I hope Brady kicks his ass. That would be a good rivalry. <laughs>